Hey you guys, hopefully you're having a great new year and I wanted to make this video because this is now around I would say the time I first got my first drum set and since then it's been 25 years since I've been playing the drums. It's been <laughs> an incredible journey and I've had my ups and downs as everyone will and has in their musical journey. Um, I know when I got my first drum set, this is when I was about to turn 12, uh, my parents got my first drum set at a pawn shop, which is probably a little under $400. It's a really cheap cymbal and a hi-hat that you press down the pedal, it would go up upwards. It's really cheap, but we all gotta start from somewhere. So I wanted to make this video because I know there's a lot of things I learned over these years that I want to share with you guys and it might be helpful not just for my drummer friends but for everyone else who may be pursuing a career in music or is in a band or maybe this might be good for somebody who needs a little bit of uplifting inspiration or just needs some personal development and it's a mixture of both because personal development and music go hand in hand believe it or not first thing is first I bet you know what it is Practice, practice, and practice. That's the only way you gotta get better in your craft. And it doesn't have to apply with music, it could be anything else. Maybe it might be uh, doing a speech in front of 100 people, or maybe doing a lecture, or a presentation, or being a great leader. Everything takes practice. So you really need to take the time, maybe you create a routine that is enjoyable for you. Maybe it might be 30 minutes or if not, 10 minutes a day. If that's uh, too much, then maybe maybe do like five minutes. I don't think five minutes is enough, but do what works best for you, okay? If it's just 10 minutes, do 10 minutes. Give it your best out of those 10 minutes, you know? Give it all you got and then put your sticks down, your guitar or whatever, and go about your day, all right? So make it enjoyable for yourself and have fun. That's what it's all about. The next point I'm gonna share with you is never take things personally. And this revolves to your ego, to your attitude, and how you carry yourself towards others. And I know over the years I've worked with several people who either had an ego, and at one point, I'm gonna be honest, you know, and I still have it sometimes, uh, ego. You know, and I didn't like people telling me what I need to do on the drums to say, hey, I need to do this, do that, blah, 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 blah. Then I look at them and I might be like, you're not the drummer, I'm the drummer. I make up my own parts. If you're that type of person, you need to cut that out. People might not notice it now, but if that continues in the long term, people are not going to be wanting to work with you. So attitude does play a part. And when I say don't take things personally, it's because either they're trying to give you some insight, some way to help you, or maybe they vision their song to sound a certain way and they want to get the best out of it because they know they can trust you to deliver that part. And you got to give it your all. I know sometimes that pressure kind of is scary. And there's times where you don't know what to do, but you have to give it your all and you just have to give it your best shot. And usually it turns out to be on the next record. You never know. Keep your attitude on check. Keep your ego on check. And you know, when someone tells you something, it's to help you, all right? It's to help you to sound better or make their song or their project come alive or make their dream come alive. So keep that in mind. The next point. Be punctual. Always be early. I know this is something I've had to work on myself. And there's some days I still need to work on this, but when it's important things, maybe it might be when it comes to business or other things that are important, um, punctuality really does play a part. It shows that you care about that person, you care about yourself, you are someone who takes responsibility for the things that you do, okay? And when you say you're gonna be there early, it shows that you're committed. You're gonna be committed to that person or you're gonna be committed to the job or to the project. So always be early and always be punctual, all right? The next point, 
there will always be another opportunity. I know there's instances where bandmates don't get along or people can't work together or something happens, there's drama. I've seen it myself. These things happen. No matter what industry you're in, you're gonna see that. But if that happens to you, maybe you got fired, you got laid off or a project doesn't work out. Just always keep in mind that there will always be another opportunity for you to work on, all right? So luck is always on your side, so always keep that in mind, all right? And don't always beat yourself down, don't say, oh, it's the end of the world, nah, dude. Cut that shit out. Keep your head in the game and keep moving forward. The opportunity that you are waiting for, if you prepare yourself well enough, will present yourself when you're ready. Next thing is always be learning okay and always be learning new things maybe it might be revolving with music uh, learning how to play different genres of music or learning how to play a different instrument or maybe learning how money works or how business works so whatever the case may be always be learning you know um, and it's always important to uh, learn new things to Teach others how to do th certain things because people are going to always ask you something, especially if you get really good at your craft or, or what you're really good at. People are going to want to know how you did it. You know, you might earn this success or you may get awards and stuff like that. And people are going to want to know your secret or how you did it. And yeah, hard work does play a part and working smart as well. But they want to know what your formula is. And... If that's the formula that got you to the point of success or achieving a certain goal that you've been trying to pursue yourself, might as well share that. That's one of the ways how you get better at your craft or in that area. Maybe it might be in the area of leadership. Hey, how do you manage uh, or lead a team of 30 people? People are gonna wanna know that. Or how do you play paradiddles or on the drums? Or how do you play certain rudiments and this and this and that? And I'll be honest, I don't know all the rudiments that are out there. You know, there's still a ton of rudiments I don't even know. And I'm sure other drummers can relate. And it's not a requirement. Yeah, it's good to know by yourself. But at the end of the day, it's going out there and just working and, and just putting yourself out there. And, you know, you're not going to be the best in your area, maybe. But you know how to work hard you know how to promote yourself you know how to market yourself you know how to talk to people and that's what it takes to get to where you're at uh, and i've seen this with other people always keep on learning hone your skills and don't be afraid to talk to people so the next point go after what you want all right you know whatever it is that you're trying to pursue in your life maybe it is to write a book or to uh, make cover videos or like I said maybe starting a band go after those things talk to people or you know you never know who might help you out you know, uh, and you'll be surprised who is willing to help you out too because they might know somebody that you may need to help you out achieve the goals that you want or at least the things you want to achieve in your life be clear what it is that you want Remind yourself of those things each and every single day, or at least as much as possible. That way you know who you need to talk to, or at least they may know who you need to talk to, and they'll point to you to that direction, okay? And the very last point is still number one, all right? Because each one of these are number one. Never give up. Of course, everybody goes through that point where they want to give up. It doesn't matter who it is. How successful they are or they might say oh I never think about giving up I know that one point you did all right so go cut the crap and each and every single one of us has come to that point even myself remember going to a point where I did want to give up and I wanted to sell my drum set um, when I first got it. it was around when I was 13 14 years old and I wasn't able to go to take any music classes because of my low test scores. I scored on the standardized state test, which whatever it is, what it is. And anyways, so I didn't do too well. And um, 
what really got me going was my mom. She didn't want me to sell my drum set. And I know we were going through a point where we were struggling financially. And um, I might get a little emotional about it, but she didn't want me to sell that drum set. And I, I, maybe she saw something in me. Well, I know she reacted differently. I ain't selling a drum set. We spent $400 on that drum set. Is that local, muchacho? But I, maybe she saw something in me um, for me to do something great in that area. And so because of that, I had a moment again where I felt inspired again. And it just kind of had that aha moment, I guess you could say. And I remember seeing my older brother um, play, performing with his marching band. And I just said, that's who I am. That's what I want to do. From that moment, when I made that decision, I said, I'm not going to give up. And I've had other moments where I didn't have any of my drums or anything like that, but I kept going and I still did my thing and look where I'm at. So I'm making this video. So hopefully you got a lot of insight from it. Give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.